Hey, what's going on guys? So, today is April 30th, and the weather is absolutely gorgeous outside, and with tomorrow being our opening day for spring turkey, I decided to go out to a local shooting pit and do some ballistics testing. And I chose six of my favorite 22 long rifle rounds, and uh, the ones I tested today were the Remington Golden Bullet, which is a uh, brass-plated um, hollow point. The next was the CCI Mini Mag, uh, which is also a copper-plated hollow point that uh, weighs in at 38 grain. The next was uh, the Fiocchi 38 grain CPHP. The fourth uh, was the CCI Velocitor, which is a high velocity 40 grain uh, copper plated. The next was the CCI Stinger, which is a hyper velocity 32 grain copper plated hollow point. And the sixth is the hyper velocity Remington Trunicated Hollow Point Yellow Jacket. Uh, so to start off with uh, with the bullets here, this is the Remington uh, Golden, excuse me, Golden Bullet, and as you can see, it has pretty uniformed expansion, and the base of the bullet's right there. Overall, it seemed to retain uh, full weight. I didn't find um, any lead particles that have broken off from this bullet. The second is the CCI Mini Mag, and I'm really happy with the performance of this. Um, as you can see, the base of the bullet right there, and then with the expansion, it has like this little nasty hook. And expanded really well. The third is the Fiocchi uh, 38 grain. And out of all these bullets, um, upon recovery, this is the only one that seems to have retained um, its full grain weight. And it almost looks like the side of the bullets, or yeah, the side of the bullet had been peeled back, almost making it like a, a point. And then you can see the base of the bullet right there. Really good performance. The fourth is the Velocitor, and as far as for where it comes down um, to expansion, I'd say the Velocitor did well, um, but it tended to tumble. And as you can see, the base of the bullet right there, but the expansion, if it was to go head on, it'd only be that thick, and that's why I said it tumbled because you can see the expansion marks along the bullet going this way and it flattened out um, but it does have some pretty good jagged marks on it that would uh, make a pretty devastating uh, wound channel so I do like that the next is the CCI stinger as you can see here there's two lead fragments uh, that were around the main projectile and as you can see, the base of the bullet, turn it around, and has mushroomed out. Um, not too, you know, not too bad. Uh, this one actually got the most penetration. Um, the shots were taken at about 25 yards, and this had penetrated 11 inches. And it only had these two uh, lead fragments break apart from the main projectile. And then the last but not least is the Remington Yellow Jacket. And as you can see here, there's three separate lead, uh, lead particles that had fragmented from the main projectile. And this is the main projectile itself. And as you can see, what's left, somewhat of what's left, of uh, the bottom of the bullet. In all honesty, um, since this is a different bullet style than these other five, I would have to say that these were the other half of uh, the Trunicated Hollow Point. Because if you look at it, it looks like this side right here has been cut completely straight off. And that's why I believe that these three fragments um, were recovered away from the main projectile. But uh, it's still... We'll still get the job done. 
anyway. Um, all rounds except for the Fiocchi, uh, which is this one right here, has seemed to have expanded at least uh, two to three times its original size, as you can see here, put next to the Velocitor. So, with that said, guys, um, hopefully this was interesting and kind of informative uh, to see the bullets and what they look like in an actual scenario. I have a lot of work yet to get done before our opening day tomorrow for Turkey, so I'm going to go ahead and get to that. So, with that said, not to make this video any longer, as always, be safe, have fun, and catch you guys tomorrow.